in the smartphone world, when you think of SoC, the name which first comes to our mind is Qualcomm Snapdragon, which is not surprising due to the fact that Qualcomm makes the best SoC in Android world. They are known for their best performance and longevity. But did you know that Qualcomm is not the biggest smartphone SoC maker right now? Currently this title goes to MediaTek. If you are in US or Europe, chances are MediaTek is not that familiar. But if you are in Asia or Africa, you have most probably used or currently using a phone powered by MediaTek SoC. So who is this MediaTek? How they have managed to become the world's biggest smartphone chipset vendor? And how is their future? This video will answer all your questions, so stick around till the end. By the way, did you know that this is the 100th video of this channel? If you want me to make more videos like this in future, then hit the subscribe button. To know about the origin of MediaTek, we have to go backwards in 1980. This was the year when Taiwan's first semiconductor company, United Microelectronics Corporation or UMC was born, which marked a giant step towards the computer age thanks to the manufacture of integrated circuits. Tsai Ming Kai, who was the president of UMC, founded MediaTek in 1997. At first, they used to make SoC for CD and DVD players. Later, they expanded to other products like Wi-Fi modems, digital TV, IoT devices, and mobile phones. In 2004, they launched a division to design products for mobile devices. What that means is MediaTek used to do most of the R&D of the technology side of the phones and the exterior design of the cell phone was done by the manufacturers, which made it cheaper for the manufacturers to produce cell phones. At the same year, they also entered the market with many of its integrated phone chips destined for the Chinese market, which later expanded to other parts of the world. By 2011, they were already taking orders of 500 million SOCs per year. At the same year, their revenue also saw a decline. It was because during the inception of modern smartphones, MediaTek went with Windows Mobile OS instead of Android as HTT phones with Windows were very popular back in the day. By 2012, Android was already dominating 75% of the global market, which led them to shift their focus towards Android. By 2014, 1500 models of phones were already using MediaTek processors. At the same year, they also launched the world's first octa-core SoC, the MT6592. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, then hit the like button. Although many phones were shipping with MediaTek SoC, but those were mostly cheap phones. The SoC market was still dominated by Qualcomm, because the performance of MediaTek phones weren't as great as their Qualcomm counterparts. Plus, MediaTek phones had heating issues and the longevity wasn't that great either, which made Qualcomm more superior choice. But with the launch of Helio G series in 2019, things started to change. The Helio G series SoC provided much better performance than their previous SoCs. It sometimes outperforms their Qualcomm Snapdragon counterparts. As a result, entry-level and mid-gen smartphones ships with Helio G series SoC. In 2020, they launched their Diamond City lineup SoC to compete with their high-end Snapdragon. As MediaTek SoC are comparatively cheaper than Snapdragon ones, so MediaTek phones are found cheaper. As a result, many affordable phones with MediaTek SoC were sold, which is one of the reasons for MediaTek's success. Another reason why MediaTek surpassed Qualcomm is the chip shortage. Qualcomm was hit highly by the chip shortage of last year, which led MediaTek to grab the first position of chip market. By Q4 of 2021, the market share of MediaTek was 40%, whereas Qualcomm had a market share of 27%. Although the market share of MediaTek has grown a lot, but the market share of my subscribers haven't increased, which means only less than 1% of you watching my videos are subscribed. In order to increase my market share of subscribers, one click of the subscribe button is enough. The future of MediaTek seems really great. In past, despite of doing well in the lower end segment, they struggled in the higher end segment. But with the launch of Diamond City 9000, they took a huge leap in their flagship lineup, 
by not only making world's first for an NM SoC but also in some cases outperforming the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. The competition is getting rich man. As I have said earlier in this video, MediaTek also make chipsets for smart TV, IoT devices besides smartphones. One press why they don't make their SoC is in PC market. Yes, they make SoC for Chromebooks but they don't make any SoC for Windows PC. But they might enter the PC market in future because few months ago Nvidia showed a demo of Wolfstein Youngblood game on a system which had Nvidia GTX 3060 graphics card paired with MediaTek's Companion SoC. By the way, that device was running on a Linux Arch distro. But this demo shows a great possibility of ARM MediaTek SoC coming for Windows PC. Although it's not confirmed yet, so until then, let's wait. The ongoing chip shortage which started last year after pandemic is predicted to last up to 2023. So this chip shortage might hit them this year. Let's see how they tackle this situation. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Have you ever used any phone with MediaTek chipset? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I have used many phones with MediaTek SoC and I am also currently using a phone with MediaTek chipset. According to my experience, they have come a long way. So that's all for today. How was this video? Share your feedback in the comments below. If you have any video requests then share it in the comments too. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video then hit the like button and share this video. Also, if you want to see more contests like this then don't forget to subscribe and like my YouTube channel. So bye and see you again at the next one.